In this video, I'll solve example three from textbook based on the chapter surface area volume class 10. The question says that there is a wooden toy in the wooden toy rocket in the shape of a cone mounted on a cylinder. So we can see that there is a cone, right? And that is mounted over a cylinder. After that, if I read further, it says that the height of the entire rocket is uh, 26 centimeter. So looking into the figure, we can see that the entire rocket height is, this is 26. And the height of the conical portion is this, which is given as six, right? So we can use uh, dimensions and uh, we can use symbols to indicate it. Let's say, for example, if I say the height of the, if I am calculating the height of the cylindrical portion, it is going to be, I'm using capital H to indicate minus six. You know, it's a uh, out uh, the 26 minus six will give you the height of the cylindrical portion, which is 20 centimeter. And we can use small h to indicate the height of the conical portion, which is six centimeter. Further, we can also write the capital R as the radius of the conical portion, which is uh, given as, we can see that the diameter is five. So the radius is going to be five over two. And for the cylindrical portion, the diameter is three. So it's going to be three over two. Now, if I uh, further read the question, it says that uh, the uh, conical portion has to be painted yellow. That means this portion has to be painted yellow, sorry, orange, not yellow. And the cylindrical portion is to be painted yellow. Now, most of you uh, make a mistake over here is that uh, you find it just curved surface area of the conical portion as to be painted orange. But that's not actually true. When you look into this figure, you see that there is a kind of ring which is formed as their bases are not same. So we need to find the area of a ring as well in order to find the area to be painted orange. And uh, as you know that uh, in order to find the curved surface area, we need the slant height as well, right? We should know the slant height. And in order to get the slant height, we'll be using this relation as you must be familiar with L square is equal to R square plus H square. Well, need to be careful that here we have taken the capital R as the radius and small h as the height of the cone. So this is R, which is, uh, I can write this as 2.5 square and small h as six square. So this, right, this is square as of now. So this is uh, 625. That is 6.25 plus 36. So we are going to get this as 42.25, whose under root is 6.5 centimeter. 6.5 centimeter. Now, the area to be painted orange, as I said, will comprise the curved surface area of a cone, right? So this is curved surface area of a cone plus area of a ring. As I've already mentioned, that uh, the, the, portion, the portion that has to be painted yellow comprises of a curved surface area of a cone and that of an area of a ring. Now, CSA of a cone is pi R L. Now, R here is capital R, L is L only, and area of a ring is pi capital R square minus small r square. This is the formula. Now we can take pi common here to reduce the calculation and I'm taking pi as common. So I'm going to get capital R L plus capital R square minus small r square. Now we are going to plug in this value pi as it is mentioned as 3.14. So this is 3.14 capital R. This is uh, 2.5. I'm writing this is 2.5 into capital L, sorry, small l. That is the slant height is already calculated as 6.5 plus square of 2.5 and minus the square of 1.5. Now to continue with the calculation, this is 3.14 and if I multiply, these numbers yeah so we can uh, 
reduce the calculations by using some identity. Let's see how to apply. So first we need to uh, do this calculation. 2.5 into 6.5 will give you 16.25 plus. Uh, this is easy, right? So we can find out uh, 2.5 square as 6.25 minus 15 square is 1. 15 square is uh, 225. So it's going to be 2.25. Right. So further, this is 3.14. And this is, this will give you how much? 4, I suppose, right? So yeah, this is 4. And this is 16.25. So it's going to be 20.25. So finally, we got the area that is uh, by multiplying these two will give you 63.385 centimeters square. This you have to do. Now, we, we got the area that is to be painted uh, orange. Now, we have to find the area that has to be painted yellow. Now, for finding yellow, we are, it's very uh, uh, well visible that that portion that has to be painted yellow is actually, uh, I'll show you. This you can see that is the curved surface area of a cylinder plus area of a base, right? This actually includes the curved surface area of the cylinder and the area of the base as well. The base, as you can see, is in the shape of a circle. So that area that has to be painted yellow can be calculated like CSA of cone, CSA of, sorry, cylinder, plus area of a circle, right? Area of a circle. Now, CSA for cone is, uh, is 2 pi rh, sorry, core is not cone cylinder, it's 2 pi rh plus area of a base, which is pi r square. Now we can take 2 pi, no, sorry, pi r as common, right? So if you take pi r as common, what we get here is 2 h and an r over here. Now I need to delete up some portion of it to do the remaining part of the calculation. Let's say if I delete this portion, and start placing the values. As you can see here, this uh, pi I is mentioned 3.14, small r indicating the radius of the cylinder, which we have already calculated as 2.5 as the radius of the cylindrical portion. That multiplied by two times h and uh, two times h, two into the height of the cylinder, which is 20, already calculated over here. Height of the cylinder, we are using capital H, need to be careful. And uh, this we got, and then plus R and the radius for the cylindrical is 1.5. I will do further calculation. This will give you 4.71, that multiplied by 40 plus 1.5, so finally, we got 4.71 multiplied by 41.5. Well, this is a big calculation, but you have to do it. As of now, I'm using calculator to do it. This much centimeter squared should be the area that has to be painted uh, yellow. And this is the area that has to be painted orange.